As a staff member, when you first log into Gradelink, you'll default to the Gradelink news page. We treat this space as an opportunity for us to let you know what's going on here at Gradelink. We'll post updates on new features we're releasing, blog posts that we recently created, promotions that we might be running, or just other pieces of news that we're interested in sharing with you. And similarly, we want you to be able to offer the same level of communication to the families that you're working with. To that end, we've created the school news page. This is a space for you to inform your families about the state of your organization in a newsletter format. You can post pictures and videos, resources like hyperlinks to other websites, or just general updates about events at the school. And because it's a newsletter format, you're able to have multiple posts published at once for families to interact with. Making adjustments to these pages is easy. Just click edit in the top right corner, and it's almost as if you're working within a Word document. A lot of the tools you'll see here are comparable. You can also publish and unpublish posts. So if you've already created one that you plan on using again next year, you can just unpublish it, make your changes, and then republish it again once the new school year begins. Whereas school news can be seen by all users, teacher pages are more private and are designed for teachers and their students instead of administrators. Teachers can create pages for each individual class or subject that they teach, but also have access to a general announcements page that is visible to all of their students, regardless of which class they're in. While the functionality is the same between school news and teacher pages, these tools operate independently of one another. School news doesn't need to be enabled for teachers to set up their pages and vice versa.